Hello everyone, how are you today? It's K. So this is the、uh, first of November on Monday. So I hope you're having a great day today. And this is a recorded video. It's on the live stream because、um, I got things to do tonight. And also, recently I'm thinking to upload some videos on my YouTube channel instead of doing the live streams every day. But I will record the videos. Maybe one or two. Sometimes I might be recording three videos and upload on my YouTube in a day so that、uh, every video s are not so long, maybe, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes long. But I will, I will record videos topic by topic so that、uh, you can really understand on each in individual video s like that. So that、uh, once you join the next live stream, you can have better understanding on what I say. So, this is just a practice. This is just a new attempt on my YouTube channel. Is that the,、uh, I will start to record videos on my YouTube channel. And whenever time permits, I will do the live stream. And also,、um, thank you everyone for your comments about my、uh, you know, health condition.、Uh, now I'm fully recovered, so I feel much, much better now. For some reason, I, have, I feel more energy. Than before, after I overcome the illness. So,、uh, hopefully, you can enjoy the talks for today. So,、uh, yeah, let me squeeze my face and start as usual. So, please, when you take trays, please do add a risk because what I basically talk about is based on my own experience. Right, so,、uh, and also since this is a recorded video session, let me show you exactly when I'm recording this one. So I have the world clock right now. So here it is. You can see the clock, like、uh, eight clocks around the world. So you know exactly what time I'm talking, recording this video. So right now, this is 10 48 a.m. in the UTC time zone, but you see Los Angeles, New York, London, Dubai here. And New Delhi, Singapore, and Tokyo time as well. So, the video is recorded at this timing right now. All right, so、uh, let's go to the topic. So, today I would like to talk about the Ichimoku with Tokyo Box Breakout because、uh, Tokyo Box Breakout is my favorite strategy that I use to capture the potential、um, in continuous direction. For the major direction. So, first, what I do is I screen all the JPI pairs and I pick the ones that are trending as per Ichimoku. And then I do it in a daily chart. So, I screen the daily chart, the JPI pairs. And then, if I find some of the pairs are trending as per Ichimoku, then I go down to one hour chart and see if one of these trending JPI pairs are. Breaking Tokyo Box because that will be the one you want to trade today. So let's start. So let me turn to Trading View over here. And I have already screened the JP a pairs before this video session starts, but let me do it over again so that you know what kind of steps you can take. So, first of all, I only pick up the JP a pairs. So, first, this is Euro JPY in the daily chart. You see, the market is flat now. The market has been ranging flat and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So, chances are the market might go up or down. And we don't know which is going in this case. So, simply, even if you see Tokyo Box breakout in this particular pair,、uh, it might be fake and retraces backwards soon. So, in this particular one, you don't take the Tokyo Box because this is ranging. And when the market is ranging, not only Tokyo Box breakout, but also any indicator signals can be fake. And that's why I don't trade when the ranging market.、Uh, technically, there is、uh, ranging strategies by Ichimoku, and I will show it to you、uh, in the future videos or live sessions. But as for today, let's focus on the trending market with. Tokyo Box breakout strategies. So, Euro JPY is ranging, so we don't look at the lower time frame. So, let's go to the next one, USD JPY. All right, so USD JPY, you can see that the Kumo Senko Spanner A is up and the Kijun Sen is up. 
and it's close spun above the candles, so this is bullish. And as I draw earlier, the arrows and lines, market is at the previous resistance level in between 114.41 and 0 0.70. So in this condition, we better wait for the market to break that level and look for buy chance afterwards. However, if we see the Tokyo Box breakout today, we can look for the buy chance. So this one will come back to one hour chart later and uh, look at the Tokyo Box breakout. So USDJPY is good and that's why I mark red as a trending pair for today. So let's go to the next JPY pair, which is Pound JPY. The Pound JPY as per Ichimoku, you see the single span B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen is flat. So the market has been retracing backwards and this is range. Or this is more of potential bearish in the wave. In my eyes, this is a bit of like a bearish in the wave. So in this condition, the market could retrace all the way back to Kijun Sen. So uh, if you see Tokyo Box breakout downwards today, that might be a good confirmation. And also that will be a breakout of the previous support level. So this one will look at it, the lower time frame, one hour chart and see if Pokebox breakout is in place or not later on. So, found JPY, let's come back to this one later. And the next one is um, AUDJPY. Alright, AUDJPY is now flat. As you can see, the single span B flat, A flat, and the Kijun Sen is flat. And the market is at the previous resistance level, and it's consolidating for the last one week or so. So the market is in ranging. So in this case, even if you see Tokyo Box break out towards either direction, it might be fake and uh, you will get stopped out uh, many times if that's the case. So this one will stay away. We basically wait, I will just basically wait for the market to break the resistance level and look for buy chance afterwards, which might happen uh, sometime this week. So AUDJPY, we won't look at the lower time frames today. And the next one is CADJPY. Yeah, CADJPY, I can see that the single span A is up and Kijun Sen is up and it's co span above the candles. And so that potentially the market goes up on the end wave like this sometime today or next week. So this one, if Tokyo Box breakout happens upwards today, then that will be a great confirmation for this continuous end wave to happen like this way. So this one, we'll watch the one hour chart later on. And then finally, let's look at the Sysfran JPY. Sysfran JPY, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and the market is at the previous resistance level as well. So um, in this case, since Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, the market might be resisted here and retraces backwards today. So unless it breaks upwards, we don't take a trade. However, since the market is very close to the previous resistance level, it's worth to look at the lower time frame and see if the Tokyo Book breakout is in place. Because if it does, then most likely the market will go up until the end of today and it might break out the range. Uh, sorry, the resistance level. So uh, this one we look at the lower time frame as well. All right. So this is how I screen charts initially by daily chart and see which one is trending or ranging or which one has potential breakout uh, anytime soon. So coming back to the JPY pair. So Euro JPY is ranging, so we don't look at the lower time frame. And let's look at the USDJPY. All right, USDJPY is uptrending, so let's turn to one hour chart first of all. And in one hour chart, it is uptrending also. We see the Kumo's up, Kijun Sen is up, and Chikou span above the candles. So this is a nice confirmation that the market potentially continue to go up in this direction. And previously, we can see that the uh, Tenkan Sen bounce has been happening multiple times in the past. So this time, 
the market is at, market is at the Tenkan Sen level, but、uh, there's a chance that the market will be bounced by the Tenkan Sen and goes up in this direction. So, with this in mind, if you look at the Tokyo Box and if it's breakout, if the Tokyo, Tokyo Box breakout is happening already, that will be a great confirmation to buy. So, let me turn to the sessions indicator. So, yellow boxes are the Tokyo start and end timings. And so today, the Tokyo session ended exactly here on the vertical line. And after Tokyo session ends, the market is retracing backwards. It's retracing backwards now, and there is no breakout yet. So, in this condition, I simply wait for the breakout of 114.41 level or To be safer, I want to wait for the weak breakout. So, that precisely that will be 114.444 level. If the market breaks that level upwards, then that will be a great buy chance. And right now, there is a potential end wave. So, and this is a nice pushback right now. And also, you can draw. A trend line like this way, and it's bouncing by the trend line many times too. So,、uh, you can buy right now and expect the market breaks the Tokyo box as well as the previous、uh, resistance level. And once the market reverses backwards and breaks the trend line, then you can simply exit there. Or to be safer, you want to wait for the Tokyo box breakout. Breakout of 114.444 level and then place a buy, and stop loss will be placed below the trend line or below the previous low level, yeah, around 114.15 or so. So that is the strategy. And, but I think overall, this is bullish USDJPY, so it's nice to trade on this one. So that's one. So、uh, let's go to the next one, GBPJPY. All right, GBPJPY, as I mentioned earlier, this is retracing backwards and there is a potential reverse in the wave and potential breakout of the support level and the market could retrace all the way back to the Kijun Sen. So, with that in mind, if you see the Tokyo Box breakout bearish, then that might be a chance to sell. So let's go to one hour chart and select the Tokyo box. The yellow line is Tokyo box, and the、uh, Tokyo box low was found to be on a、uh, 155.91 level. And at this level, the market has been supported once, twice, three times. And if you squeeze the chart all the way, then you see the support zone in between. 155.91 and 155.70 level. So, since this is potential bearish, and if Tokyo Box breakout happens today, we better wait for the market to break the weak low here、uh, from the 27th at 155.70 and then place a sell from there. And then expect the market to go down. To the Kijun Sen in the daily chart. So it looks like it's not happening yet. So, in this case, we better wait for that. You can put the alert on 155.70 and just wait for the alert to trigger. So, that's Pound JPY. So, let's move on to AUD JPY. So, AUD, AUD JPY in the daily chart, once again, this is ranging. So, We basically don't look at this one. And moving on to CADJPY, since Kumo's up and Kijun Sen is up, there is a potential bullish in the wave. So, in this case, in this particular market, it's worth to look at the one hour chart and see if Tokyo Box breakout is happening upwards. And also, I can see that there are resistance levels here, so we might have to wait for. The resistance level breakout as well. But let me look at the one hour chart 
and switch to the Tokyo session indicator. So Tokyo session end was here and Tokyo session high was 92.33. And there is a slight breakout right now, but if you see the previous chart, if you can squeeze all the way, then I can see the weak highs here uh, at uh, 92.51. So um, since this is still, uh, you know, this is at the breakout of the Tokyo box, there is a potential uptrend continuously. So uh, with that in mind, you can buy and place a stop loss below the previous low. And once the market retraces backwards, you better exit on that timing. Otherwise, you expect the market breaks the resistance level and try out the stops along the way. Or to be safer, you want to wait for the breakout of 92.51 and place buy over here. For myself, I if I find more confirmations here, then I will just place a buy. And with the risk management, if the market retraces backwards, I will just cut the loss soon. In that case, I have to monitor chart if I have time and uh, know exactly when to exit in this particular trade. But uh, since daily chart is uptrending, uh, there is a potential breakout upwards and that's why it's worth to try, worth to trade in this particular market. So that's uh, CADJPY. All right, and finally, looking at the CISFRAN JPY pair, just in case, looking at the daily chart again. So the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, but since the market is at the previous resistance level, uh, we can look at the lower time frame and see if the market breaks that level or not. So here is one hour chart. And uh, let's see, I switch to the Tokyo box. And Tokyo box high was 124.84. Or more precisely, I will take the weak high, which will be 124.87 is the Tokyo box high today. And you can clearly see that the market broke the Tokyo box today for the major direction. So, so that means there is a potential breakout of 125.03 level. So you can wait for the breakout and place a buy, or you can buy already and expect the market breaks that level. Otherwise, simply you better exit once the market reverses backwards at some point. So, uh, so this is another Tokyo box breakout towards the major direction. So uh, like this, every time I screen charts, first of all, I, I take the daily chart and see which one is trending, ranging, and which one is at the previous resistance or not. And if I see the potential trend directions, then I go down to the lower time frame or what I call the middle time frame, one hour chart. And then I take the Tokyo box and see if the market is breaking the Tokyo box towards a major direction or not. And if there's a potential breakout on that day today, then simply I look for the buying edge. Or simply I just take a trade and when the market reverses, I just exit. So in terms of Tokyo box breakout, uh, if you're new to my channel, um, Tokyo Box is Tokyo session uh, between 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. in Japan time, and uh, you only use it in the JPY pairs. Because based on my experience, this Tokyo Box breakout works the best on JPY pairs. Because, uh, you know, um, Tokyo time or uh, Tokyo session. Uh, main uh, liquidity is uh, you know from Tokyo and almost all the traders in Tokyo or Japan are trading JPY pairs. When I was in Japan, 
I was, it was very difficult to find uh, the analysis besides JPI pairs. So, um, you know, of course, some, of course, sometimes people talk about Euro USD or some Euro, yeah, another USD pairs or some pound pairs, but mainly they look at the JPI pairs because JPY is familiar in Japan and um, in Japan, uh, usually it's uh, scalping in Forex and also um, scalping means that they take positions and close positions within a day, very soon. So that's why in Tokyo time, uh, usually it's range. It just goes up and down, up and down in the range market. But when London session opens, then um, the London traders uh, try to search where the stop losses are on the Tokyo session. So they move the market, either break upwards and downwards, and let the market hit the stops on the Tokyo session, and let the market run towards that way. And that's why if you have Tokyo session uh, you know, box, I mean, Tokyo session start, open, open price and close price. And you see you have the square box like that on the yellow. Um, like this one. And technically, there are stop loss orders up and down um, during the Tokyo session. And once it triggers, either way, the market tends to go towards that way. So in this particular example, like you see two days ago, after the breakout of Tokyo Box, it went upwards. And after that, yesterday, or sorry, the Friday, the market broke the Tokyo Box, and initially, it went upwards this way. And after New York, it went downwards. But uh, initially, it tends to go towards that direction. And that's a Tokyo Box. And what I, do, what I did today was, especially if you find the trending pairs by Ichimoku in the daily chart and if you see the market breakout towards the major direction the probability for winning will be much much higher and also probability of running profits will be much higher because market tends to go towards the major direction and that's why I was looking for the market that has trend and also uh, the, uh, the breakout of Tokyo Box towards the same direction. So like in this, in this example, in this case, if the market breaks the Tokyo Box upwards, I will take it. But if the market goes downwards, then I won't take it because as we saw earlier, the daily chart shows uptrending. So the, even if the market breaks the Tokyo Box downwards, it might be fake and soon it might go upwards like this. So, looks like the market is going up now and it's most likely going to break the resistance level, we'll see. But uh, this is how you can combine Ichimoku in higher time frames and Tokyo Box in the middle time frames. So, hopefully you enjoyed today's lecture video and uh, learn about how to integrate Ichimoku with the Tokyo Box breakout strategies. So uh, yeah, like this, I will be recording videos and upload on my YouTube channel. And also when time permits, I will do the live stream so that you can learn in both ways and master the strategies one by one, like in this way. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notification every time I upload a video or launch the live stream. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.